Welcome back guys. We are back with another video. Today we will be making an X banner and it is interactive with a phone camera. You can actually pull the website right from the QR code. So let's get started. I said we're doing an X banner. So this is my design and right now it's set up on what its actual print is going to be which is 30 by 69. So we're going to change that to 32 by 71. So we're going to do that because you want there to be a print margin on the outside that's gonna get folded over and be an inch wide. So we're gonna copy and resize. We do that just so that we don't mess up. And we're gonna, we it's already saved to 32 by 71 because I had already done this earlier. So now all you're gonna do in this process is just zoom in. And because you made it bigger, it's gonna have some small issues on the sides that you just wanna make sure that you left a margin of error. So just go, around like i said zoom in and then like right here you see the size did not transfer properly so you're just going to extend that right there so that you have flawless printing and then i saw the same thing up here so you're just going to fix that all the way to the corner and right now it looks like um there are no errors as far as the seam so just go ahead and get rid of your demo um i do that as like a watermark and then it does actually look like my logo here is just a little bit off center. So we're gonna center that and go from there. So from here, you're gonna just go into file and then print. And so this is set on the retractable banner that I did earlier. So we're gonna change that and we actually wanna go into manage custom sizes. And in here, we're going to set it to the exact print size that we need. So um, it is going to be 32 by 71. Okay, so that's not going to be the actual area that shows. It's going to be the size of the actual print. So we we'll just hit OK. And then from preview, you're going to go to media and quality, select main row. And then for the paper type, you're going to use coated paper and always, always, always print at your best. And from there, we're just gonna hit print and let's get it. All right, so right here, we are going to get this cut just like we do on the other banner. And you just find the corner and go. Um, I have the image flipped over onto its front, as you can see here. And then I have my hemming tape. Um, I'll link all this stuff in the description because I don't know if I'm even using the correct terms. But this is specifically made for banner making. And um, this is what I've used in the past. So what you're gonna do first is you're gonna find your edge. And this is exactly one inch tape. So you wanna get it all the way to the edge so that when you fold it over, it's perfectly one inch hem, okay? And if you wanna do it in sections, that's fine too because I find that I get better results when I do it in sections. So all the way to the edge, all the way to the edge, and let it go. I'm a little crooked on this side. The tape is a little bit forgiving, so if you make a mistake, just lift it up as quick as possible and you can fix it. Um, it's pretty self-explanatory. You're just gonna take that tape off. It's double-sided tape, so you'll take that other side of the tape off and you're going to fold it over. I actually like to start on the short end because it makes it a little easier to navigate. And I use a weeder from my Cricut machine to um, pick up that other side, just cause I wear nails and it just makes it a little easier. So I did um, two of the sides. I did just one seamless transition. But on the two of the other sides, I split the tape so that you can see um, two different ways to do it. Now on here, you're just gonna take it and you're gonna fold it over. It'll start in the middle and you wanna fold it exactly 
one inch in. So that's the length of the tape. And it is, like I said, it's forgiving. So if you mess up, you just wanna make sure that you stay, like I said, trying to start in the middle. And then go to an end, if that helps you. That's what, it, it actually helps to have long nails in this case because the nails kind of um, navigate where the crease should go. All right, so now we're at the point where we're gonna add the grommets. So I've only used this thing maybe two other times. Um, but it definitely is really easy to use. You just got to pick out four of each. I need three more bags. And then you're just going to do the corners on this one. Um, if I was doing one to be like hung outside or something like that, I would do it every 12 inches because that way the client has more options to secure it. But because this is going on a banner stand, it only needs four grommets and anything more than that will look bad. So let's punch these grommets in here. Oh, we got to run away. Throw that back in there. Okay, so on here, you're just going to, and this is magnetic. So whatever you put in there is going to stay. See, it just jumped in there because I dropped it. Okay, so this is the front. So you're gonna put that on the bottom because right now the banner is facing downwards. So just make sure it's all the way in there. And then find the corner, which is gonna ideally be over that crease. That way it'll secure that crease. And then you just push down as hard as you can. And they make machines for this, but I'm just a little small business, so I'ma leave it. And then you see, how it's still in the middle, that actually pops right out. It's actually created a hole, so you can secure this to the pole now. And we're gonna do that on each corner. All right, guys, so we have reached the end of the video. I hope that you enjoyed this, and more importantly, I hope that this helps you. If you are in the business of making banners or you're looking to get started, please comment what you would like to see, and I will put a video together for you Otherwise, if you enjoyed it, please like the video, subscribe, and I appreciate you all for watching. This is my client's picture here, so if you want to see her content, I will link it in the description box below. Thanks, guys. Bye!